how I proved him over and over. Day in and day out. Faith, confidence, peace, love, joy, comfort. Trust him. Amen. Amen. And we have learned to lean on Jesus, especially during these times. Yes. Amen. Amen. So let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Most gracious and heavenly Father, we do come before thee. Thanking you and praising you for your blessings, great and small, and for the power of God, which is under salvation to all that believe. We thank you for the Savior, the healer, the comforter, the inspirer who did come, that we all may have a right to the tree of life. We thank you, dear Lord, for your loving arms of protection round about us, shield us from all that harm and danger and the sins of this world. We thank you for leading us not into temptation, but delivering us from all evil, for thine is the kingdom. All power belongeth unto thee. You are the God of all flesh, and there is nothing too hard for you to do. Yes. Father, we thank you for thinking enough of us that you have granted us the opportunity to be alive and well. And once again, entering into your courts and doing so with praise and blessing your name. Because God is good and his mercy is endured to all generation. Father, we thank you for the foundation for which we stand. We thank you for America, the country in which we live. And for all the other countries, dear Lord, that we may be the example that you have called for us to be, a nation who believes in God, trusts in God, lean and dependent on God, that others may see, know, and understand the importance of the great I am. Remember the president and his cabinet as they strive day in and day out to benefit the people of America. We thank you, dear Lord, for all things in Christ Jesus. We thank you for the trials, the tribulations, the sufferings, the persecutions, and the things that we must endure in order to make it into the kingdom of heaven. Father, remember the world in its entirety, them the less fortunate we are. As the cases are rising and the death is rising all around the world, we pray, Father, that in your wrath, we ask you today to have mercy. Because you are the God of all flesh, and there's nothing too hard for you to do. So, Father, we want to thank you. We praise thee. We honor you today. Open unto us the windows of heaven and pour us out the blessing, giving us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of your word that we might be the people that you're looking for in these last and evil days. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we do pray, and for his sake, we do thank thee, both now and forevermore. Together can we all say, amen. amen. Give an honor to God, to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to the ministers of the gospel, to the diggers that are assembled to the congregation, and to those that are tuning in today, we see 
Good afternoon, and may God bless you. For God is good, and his mercy endureth to all generations. We thank God for the principle that teaches the doctrines of Christ. We thank God for the scroll which reads obedience, love, reverence, and respect, first being to God, then to leadership, then to one another. Thank God for the sparks from the anvil on page three of your programs today. The sixth day of December, 2020. Interesting. There is six numbers to this day. And when you add them all together, you come up to seven. One plus two is three. Three plus two is five. Five plus zero is five. Two plus five is seven. Seven plus zero is seven. This is December the sixth. Six letters that add up to seven. Interesting. Six numbers that add up to seven. Something for you sharp-minded people to dwell on. Amen. Amen. December 12. Twenty twenty. Interesting, isn't it? Twelve twenty twenty. <clears throat> Sparks from the anvil on this twelve six day in the year of perfect vision. Isn't that something? The year of perfect vision. The sparks from the anvil, the first one says, the law is established for the protection of the righteous, not the wicked. The Constitution of America is there to protect the righteous from the ways of the wicked. The framers of the institution, the constitution, the framers had foresight. And they put in place, according to the inspiration of God, laws that will protect the pure in heart, the upright, the righteous and protect them from the wicked minds that they foresaw would come about. No matter what you might say or do, the Constitution of America is written. It is established and inspired by God. So the law is established for the protection of the righteous, not the wicked. The second one says, the world thinks a lot of you while you're going up, but when you start down, start down, start down, it runs out on you. <clears throat> How quick have so many of these Republicans bail out on the president. 
They see him starting down, and they jump and ship. See, all things work together for the good. How do you know that your husband is an awesome husband unless you done had someone that ain't so awesome? When you weigh it you, in the balance, you said, wow, what a difference. Amen. So the world thinks a lot of you while you're going up. But when you start down, didn't say you was all the way down. It said when you start down, worldly folks runs out on you. You're looking for them to stand with the president all the way to the end. And they done bailed out. They went out from us because they were not all of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us, but they went out that it might be made manifest that they were not all of us. He now knows who his friends is. The third one says, if you are wrong, you don't feel safe. Though you might be sitting on a pile of golden dollars. Though you might be sitting on millions of votes for you, you still don't feel safe. Because you know you didn't get there by just deeds. If you're wrong, you don't feel safe. Though you might be sitting on a pile of gold dollars, because you got them dollars by lying, steating, and cheating. And one day, when it all comes out, you got to give it all up, and then you're going to be penalized for stealing. Now listen to this fourth one. Never fellowship with sinners to the extent that you hide your identity as a saint. Amen. You belong to the church of God. People know this church as being the strict church. You see, you're strict when you abide by the holiness of God, who is. He don't bend nor bow when it comes to the rules and the regulations. He holds it right to the line. If there's any changes, it's got to be in us. God don't change. I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be for how long? Forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it, that it might be made manifest that they were not, amen. He is not a changing God. And what he wants you to do is fear. Not the fear of torment, but the fear of reverence and respect. Never fellowship with sinners to the extent that you hide your identity as a saint. Amen. Be what you are. Live the life. God knows your heart, and you can't get by. And on the back of your program, it says, when we rise in the morning, we are to pray. When we go throughout the course of our day, we are to pray. When we come to the end of our day, we should pray. Now, when we pray, we should do so believing. For it is by faith in God do we please him. For he has the power to bring about the petitions that is asked of him. Selah. Amen.
God is able to do far above than what we could ever think or ask. And on the front of your program, it says, through faith in God, petitions are granted. Amen. Through faith in God, petitions are granted. Amen. So truly, we want to thank God for all things, great and small. We thank God for the power of God. We thank God for saving me one day and for giving me the mind, the desire, and the determination to do God's will. I had a rough time this morning. But you know, I'm going to tell you something, church. When you walk in to God's house, you feel a change. Amen. There is a change. <clears throat> there is a change when you enter into his courts with praise. Amen. Thanking him for the opportunity to get in. Because it may have been not his will that you do so. But it is by the grace of God I'm here today. Amen. There is what I've learned between the ears. There's a tube that runs. There's a bubble, a balancer in between. And when Things get clogged up from cold and weather changing and things of this nature. They have a tendency to clog. And when they clog, your, your, your brain doesn't know whether it's on this side or that side, and you start twirling. And I thank God it ain't twirling. Amen. <clears throat> I stand before you today to witness of the power of God in one's faith and confidence in him. He is the God of all flesh. And there is nothing too hard for God to do. He made us, he created us, a very complex system. And he knows every detail in this body. And I said, well, Lord, <clears throat> you gave man the wisdom to create things and to design things. And when it comes to situations that is beyond man's control, give me the wisdom to be able to fix it. And I'm telling you, church, he's never failed. God never fails. Amen. Amen. So I thank God for my wife. Thank God for our sons, daughter, daughter-in-law. Thank God for the grandchildren. <clears throat> thank God for all of you and those that are tuning in today. We'll, we say good evening or good afternoon, and may God bless you. For truly God is good, and his mercy endureth to all generations. For a thought today came to me last night as I was closing out my day. You know, you can go to bed feeling one way and get up the next morning. You don't know what's done happened. Jesus was talking about the parable of the tares being sown among the weak. He said, who did this? He said, while men slept, the enemy the enemy came in and sowed all these tares among the wheat. So while you're sleeping, 
Satan is busy. See, and all these things come to try your faith. You need to have patience sometimes, church. People say, well, what is it? You think you done overworked yourself? No. You got the COVID? No. COVID one thought of back then, 2017 or 18, when this thing first happened. See, it's one thing is of a certainty. You're going to get old one day. And when you get old, you're going to go the way of the earth. You're going back to where you came from. Things begin to deteriorate. And it's only by God's grace do you still exist. And I thank God I'm riding on grace today. Amen. God's grace. Not man's grace, but God's grace. The favor of God, the love of God, the peace. Today I want to speak to you about by and through faith. Amen. By and through faith, situations are resolved. Amen. By and through faith, situations are resolved. You have to work at these things. And faith without works is dead. Amen. I went to the farm this morning, wobbly and whatnot. And when I finished with the farm, I said, Lord, if you've taken me through the material work of things, the spiritual has got to be likewise. I know I can handle that job too. Amen. By and through faith, situations are resolved. The word by indicated the means or achieving, of achieving something. By faith, Abraham, when he was called of God to come out from among your people and go way out there in the land of nowhere. And through faith, he endured the promise. It was no man's land. They didn't even have a place to lay his head. No dwelling place. And then telling him, I'm going to make you the father of many nations. And here, he being the age that he was and his wife, Cyril, past the flower of her age. And you telling me you're going to make me the father of many nations? But he believed God. He believed God. By indicating the means of achieving something. The word and is used to connect words of the same part of speech, clauses, or sentences that are to be taken jointly by and through faith. Through his continuing in time towards completion. You don't stop and give up. You continue. You continue. Jesus said have faith in God. You don't give up faith. You maintain. You continue through. Towards the completion. of a process or a period of time. Sister Mishaw says, you don't stop in the middle of the storm. She said, you keep pushing. One or two things is going to happen. Either the storm is going to cease or you'll come out of the storm. And Keith was on his way to Myrtle Beach or somewhere. Weather, raining. That's one thing my dad said. You don't stop in the middle of no storm because if you do, somebody could run into, into you. Keep on pressing cautiously. 
And if there's ever a time that we ought to press cautiously, it is today. It is a time that we should walk circumspectly, redeeming the time for the days are evil. So listen, as he was proceeding through the, the bad weather, I said, that's all right, but Tom, when you get down there in the South Carolina, I said, the sun will be shining. Was the sun shining when you got there, brother? Clouds open up. But you see, if he'd have stopped in the storm, he'd have been in the storm longer. You have to learn to continue through faith. Situations are resolved. Faith is strong belief in God or in the doctrine of a religion based on spiritual understanding rather than proof. You didn't see the sun shining, brother. But you kept pressing. My dad told me I'm going to see the sun when I get down. And lo and behold, the clouds open up. I said, what kind of weather you got down here? It's sunshine down here. What? You had to press through. Press through. Amen. Situations, a set of circumstances in which one finds oneself in. A certain situation, circumstances. You may not have had anything to do with these circumstances, but they are upon you. But you got to press your way through. Sister Ash, you didn't ask for your husband to leave here. God called him from labor to reward. But you have to press through the circumstances, the loss of dealing with the different situations that come up that he would handle that you didn't know nothing about, but you're learning about them through faith. Amen. Situations. A set of circumstances in which one finds oneself in a state of affairs that come about. You didn't ask for this, but it comes to you. And you got to, by faith, through faith, press your way. Resolved. Settled. Find a solution to. Amen. You'd be surprised at what you have in you when you're pressed. You find the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding. You find the solution. How do I handle this? Settle or find a solution to a problem within one's body. Amen. Song said, I found the answer. I learned to pray. With faith to guide me along the way. The sun is shining for me each day. I found the answer. And I learned to pray. You know, you, you, you never know why situations do come about. But I'm learning now that this situation of being imbalanced, out of balance, out of, I mean, totally out of control. I went to get out and started turning, get out of bed, start turning, and bloom, down on the floor I went. Lost control. That is so that I will know what other people are going through. God will allow you to go through these things that you can say, I've been there. But here's the answer. I've learned to pray. 
as I was telling my friend Jerry, he was talking about how he gets lightheaded and just stumbles and falls. And I said, well, Jerry, what you need to do is roll out the bed in the morning on your knees. Start your day out on your knees. Amen. It used to be a time back in the day I used to jump up. And now I roll out. And I roll out on my knees. But this morning when I went to roll out, boom, I just lost all kinds of stability. And hit the floor. Bam. The Lord said, though a righteous man fall, yet shall he not utterly utterly fall. I didn't hurt. Amen. Thank God. <clears throat> Settled or find a solution to a problem within the body, a dispute. We got a dispute going on in this country. A dispute, watch this now, or a contentious matter. Resolve. I found the answer. I've learned to pray. Digging, if you will, congregation. Turn with me to the book of Hebrews, the eleventh chapter, where it speaks about faith. Amen. <clears throat> Thank God for saving me one day, for giving me the mind, the desire, the determination to press. Oh, I could have laid in the bed and said, I ain't going out today. Y'all canceled service today. <clears throat> oh, I can't get up. I, I can't get up. I, I just can't. If I get up, I'm going to fall. I, if I get up, I can't fall. My head is spinning, mm. turning. Mm. Have it on Zoom. Serpent on Zoom. They ain't going to say, just, you know... Y'all just stay home today. Take the day off. <laughs> no, yes. no. No, no. I say, Lord, you give me the strength to do the thing that I need to do because of who I am and what I have committed myself. See, I've committed myself to this ministry. To help souls understand who God is and what is required of us. So in Evaluating the situation, where's your faith? If you make one step, he'll make two. If there first be a willing mind, then what you don't have, God will make up the difference. And I'm here today standing before you because he has made up the difference. Amen. God is. <clears throat> so in the book of Hebrews, we're speaking to you today about by and through faith situations are resolved. Amen. Amen. The first verse says, now faith is the substance of things what? Hope for. Hope for, read. The evidence of things not seen. I couldn't see my being here, but the hope, the hope of being here. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. It is what? The evidence. The things evidence things of what? Things not seen. For by it, what? The elders obtain a good report. Amen. Woo. 
<laughs> By it, mm -hmm. the elders obtain a what? Good report. Good report. By faith. Amen. The third verse says, through faith, what happened? We understand. We, we understand that what? The worlds were framed. The worlds were framed by who? The word of God. The word of God. Let there be light and there was light. Let the dry land appear and it was so. Mm -hmm. Let there be a light into the sky to rule by day and one to rule by night and it was so. Through faith we understand. Amen. The power of the Almighty God. Amen. Read, bro. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word framed of God. Framed by the word of God. Read. So that the, things, so which that the seen, things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Mm -hmm. Let the dry land appear. Out of the waters came dry land. That Amen. doesn't appear to be normal. Amen. Not with man, but with God, all things are possible. Amen. His brother was praying on Thanksgiving Day, thanking God for the COVID. Because mm -hmm. see, what's happening is, it's bringing more people to the forefront of where their faith is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. Where's your confidence? Where, where, where is your faith? Your faith, oh, yeah, oh, the vaccine is coming. <laughs> yeah. But the vaccine is only 95 point. Five percent, Sister Sarah. Mm -hmm. It ain't 100 percent, is it, Sister Sarah? So if it ain't 100%, Sister Sarah, can you trust it? Mm. That's coming from a nine-year-old. Mm -hmm. Are you nine? How old are you now? You eight, nine, or what? You're eight, eight-year-old. Mm. <clears throat> now, if an eight-year-old has that much common sense, <laughs> what's your problem? Mm -hmm. All right. By... And through faith in God, That's situations right. are resolved. Amen. Read that again, bro. Through faith. Through faith. We understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. By the word of God, so that things so that which, are things seen which are seen were not, made of, were not made of things which what? Do appear. Do appear. You think about land being brought out of water. That doesn't seem likely, but it is. What you think you're standing on? Water? No. Earth, the land, the dry land. Read, brother. By faith. By faith, what? Abel offered, Abel unto, offered God. unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained what? Witness. That he was what? Righteous. God testifying of his gifts, and by it? He being dead. Being dead, what happened? Speak it. Elder life with Solomon Mishaw established the church of God with a standard of holiness. He is dead and gone, but holiness still speaks. Amen. That's right. Because it lives in me. Amen. It lives in you. In some of you. Holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Read. By faith. By faith, Enoch what? Was translated. Was translated that he should not, not see death, read, and was, was not, not found. found because what? God had translated. God had translated him for before his translation he had this testimony that he what? Pleased God. Pleased God. And because he had that testimony, God did not allow him to see death. Amen. He just translated him to show you what it's going to be like. When Jesus come back, we're not all going to die. We're going to be what? Translated from one form to unholy form. Mm. Changed from mortal 
to immortality in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye. So whatever God is going to do today or tomorrow, he has already done it yesterday. Amen. That you might know that he is God all Amen. by himself. Woo. Amen. By faith, Enoch was translated that he what? Should not see death. And was not found, read. Because he had translated him. God had, because God had translated him, for before his translation, he had this testimony that what? That he pleased God. Church, when you please God, you bring forth a greater inside person. Amen. Read. But without faith. But without faith, what? It is impossible. It to is him. impossible to please him. Read. For he that cometh to God. For he that cometh to God must read, believe. Must believe that, that he what? Is. That he is and that he is a what? Rewarder, Rewarder of them that what? Diligently, diligently seek him. Whoo. Amen. God said it. Jesus did it. I believe it. And guess what? That sells, that sells it. it. Case closed. Listen, turn to St. Matthews. Jesus <clears throat> Jesus did marvelous things. Man was not accustomed. Men were not accustomed to seeing things being done such as he. Eighth chapter. Digging, if you will, congregation. St. Matthew's eighth chapter. First verse says, when he was come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, what? If thou wilt. If thou wilt, thou what? Canest make me clean. And when you're thinking about a leper, leprosy is infectious. I repeat, leprosy is a disease that can be spread from one human to the next. So the first thing they tell you, don't touch a leper. Because you just might catch Leprosy, mm. this infectious disease. They tell you to cover your mouth. Don't be coughing. Wear your mask. Mm. 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 And people still die. Yeah. Watch this now. He worshiped him. Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me what? Clean. And Jesus did what? Put forth his hand. Jesus took forth his hand. He, 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 didn't, he didn't do like this. <laughs> he didn't do like this, but he did what? And touched him. He touched him. Wait a minute. This isn't an infectious disease here. And you mean to tell me that you're going to reach out and touch one that is infected? <laughs> Saying, I will. Touched him saying, I will. Watch this. Be thou clean. And what happened? And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Woo! All right. <sighs> Amen. It didn't take a long time. He says immediately. immediately. His leprosy was cleansed. Now wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Infectious. Mm -hmm. Contaminated. Mm -hmm. Highly, highly, highly possible that you are going to get infected. 
kept it. But Jesus didn't pray over him. He touched him. Be thou clean. And immediately, immediately, what does it say? Immediately, his leprosy was cleansed. Cleansed. And Jesus said unto him, see thou tell no man, but do what? But go thy way. Go your way, show go yourself to the, the priest, and offer oh. the gift that Moses commanded for a what? Testimony unto, unto them. them. Why couldn't you have done this? Because you didn't have the power. Amen. Amen. You didn't have the power. Read. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there what? There came unto him a centurion beseeching him. And saying what? Lord, my servant lieth at home, sick of the palsy, grievously there's a, tormented. There's another one. Grievously being tormented. Can't rest. He lay on this side, he hurt. He lay on that side, he hurt. I lay back on the pillow and poor just things just start turning. Mm. Mm. And what happens is that turning in the head affects the stomach. Mm. Mm. And it felt like I wanted to cough and gurgitate and I tried to get up, boom, on the floor I go. I just roll over on my knees. All right. Call on the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he came to my rescue. All right. Mm. Yes. And oh, Jesus yes. said what? Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. Then the centurion answered and said, Lord, I'm not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. But speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, having what? Soldiers under me. Read. And I say to this, and man, I say go, to this man, go, and he what? Go it. And read. To another come. Come. And he cometh. He cometh. Read. To my servant to do my this. To my servant do this, and what happened? And he doeth it. The servant does it. Read. When Jesus heard it, he When marveled. Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to them that followed. All y'all sanctified, holy, sanctified folks that is following. Yeah. Read. Verily I say unto you. Verily I say unto you, all y'all folks that is following me around and know what you're supposed to do. Read. I have not found so great faith. Woo. No, not in Israel. Lord, come help me, please. I need you, Jesus, right now. I need you. Mm -hmm. And here this man says, I'm not worthy. Just mm. speak the word. Just speak the word. Just speak the word. Amen. And my servant shall be healed. Shall be healed. I was called to go into the hospital. This lady that had been in an accident, the truck had turned over on her and took them two hours to cut her out of. And it was all on that leg. All because of that leg. They could have cut the leg off and took her out. But no, they said they're going to get this truck off her, her vehicle, which had cramped her leg. And I mean, it was tore up. My wife called me and said, so-and-so's mother's in the hospital. When you, can you go by and pray for her? I'm out on the farm working. I stopped what I was doing. Went by, and when I went in, she was very faint because she had lost a lot of blood. She was very faint and very weak, and I prayed for her. And as I was turning to walk away, She says, Brother Smith, come back and see the progress. Mm. 
Woo! I walked out in the hall and I was shaking my head. I prayed for a lot of saints. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm going to make it. <laughs> And this woman telling me to come back and see the progress. Amen. And the first thing that came to mind was this situation here. Jesus said, I have not found this kind of faith even among those righteous folks. Preach it. And here it is, centurion. Say, I'm not worthy that you should come unto my house. But if you just speak the word. Mm. My servant shall be healed. Mm. And you know what? She called that leg her miracle leg. <clears throat> they were getting ready to cut it off because it was no. Mm. I got another call from the wife. She's going into surgery. The co-worker want to know if you can go by and pray for mom. It's not what I'm doing. Went over there, prayed for mom. They took her in the operating room, church, and getting ready to cut, and the legs started moving. Mm. Woo! Mm. She called it her miracle leg. Why? Because of faith that she had in the prayer that was prayed that, God, you can heal her. Amen. Won't he do it? And later on, she went to get examination, and she called me up. This was after she died at the hospital. She called me up. She said, Pastor Smith, she said, I just got a test on my leg and x-rays, and the doctors say, this is not normal, but you got new bone growing in mm. that leg. Mm. God is good. Woo. Amen. There's power in prayer. That's right. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For Amen. by it the elders obtain what a good report. That's right. I didn't say, hey, wait a minute, you know, uh, listen, mom, you, my, 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 you, you tell that sister to just leave it alone because mom's leg is just not functioning and it's gone. <clears throat> but no, I got together, went there, prayed for her. Amen. She went into the operating room and just when they were getting ready to cut, things started moving. Ooh. And they brought her back out of the room. And she called me up and told me, I said, Pastor, I still got my leg. It's the miracle leg. Whew. Amen. Just speak the word only. Just speak the word. And when Jesus heard that, verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And I say unto you, read, that many shall come from the east and west. East and the west, read. And shall sit down with Abraham. Sit down with Abraham. And Isaac and Jacob. And Isaac and Jacob. In the kingdom of heaven. In the kingdom of heaven and what else? The children of the kingdom. But. The children of the, the kingdom. The saved and sanctified. The holy people. Those in the church but not of the church. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen? Shall be cast out into outer darkness. And this is what the president should do. He should clean house. Oh, yeah. Now he knows who's with him and who's against him. That's right. The scripture says, whosoever gathereth not with me scattereth, scattereth abroad. abroad. That's right. That's right. See, he probably would have never known some of the fakers. Mm -hmm. But now you know. Concede, right. concede. Why concede when you believe that you have? Mm -hmm. Despite how difficult it looks, it looks like it ain't possible. 
Mm. But how many of y'all know that with God all things are possible? All things are. Amen. Amen. My God can, can do anything. anything. Oh, yes. My God can do anything. Amen. Preach on. Listen, read. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Why? Because they're going to be outside and those others going to be inside. And Jesus said unto the centurion, go thy way. And as thou hast believed, so what? So be it done. So be it done unto, unto thee. thee. And his servant was what? Healed. In the self the same, same hour. hour. Amen. Wonderful. Then Keek was talking to this young lady over there in the Philippines and her dad was sick. I prayed for the man. I get to church within the hour, and here come the man walking behind his daughter, going to get something to eat or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. Woo! Way in the Philippines. That's right. Through the medium of prayer, God can reach anybody, anywhere, at any particular time. Amen. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. And by and through faith, situations are resolved. Amen. Whew. Sister said the man fell out there in the ground. Nobody was helping him. She said a prayer for him. Mm. Did he get up on his own? Wonderful. Woo! Got up on his own. That's right. Through prayer. Amen. 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 And when Jesus was coming to Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother sick, laid and sick of a what? Fever. See, whenever there's a fever, sisters, brothers, whenever there's a fever, there's an infection in the body. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Am I right, sister? Right. That's right. And what's happening is the body, which can heal itself, mm -hmm. depending on your cell count. Mm. You got white cells, you got red cells. Am I right, sister? And when those cells are imbalanced, you have problems. Mm. You have problems. All right. Talk to us. Doctor. Listen. So what the body does is when you see that fever, it's raising the temperature to expel mm -hmm. whatever that infection is out of the body. All right. May it do it through the pores or through the kidneys, or mm. wherever. Amen. But when those cells are depleted to the degree that it cannot fight the infection, then the infection takes over the body. Mm. 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 Lord have mercy. And she was sick of a fever. Sick of a fever. And what happened? And he touched her hand. Once again, he touched her hand. It was interesting. Once, I was praying for this lady in the hospital. And after I finished praying, she said, that feels good, Pastor. So can, you, can you pray for my knee? It's hurt. <laughs> So I went on and prayed for her knee. And when I finished that, she, she said, Pastor, can you pray for, for my back? It's hurting. So I prayed for her back, and I said, Lord, and wherever else she might be hurting, heal that too. <laughs> By and through faith, situations are resolved. She didn't ask for no more aches or pains because wherever it was at, it got touched right then. Amen. God is an on-time God, church. Yes, he is. Oh, yes. 
And he touched her hand, just by the hand. And the fever left her. Did it stay? And the fever left her. And what? And she arose. And what? And ministered unto them. Isn't that something? Wonderful. See, a, a busy person, a person that is actively involved into doing things, when they are down and get healed, they get up and go to work. <laughs> yeah. They don't lay there and say, well, I'm going to take a couple more days here and no. get some more rest. Ain't that something? Mm. No, she got up, she got up and, and ministered. ministered. That's, right. That's right. Went in the kitchen and started cooking. Mm. Mm -hmm. Eggs, bacon. Corn By bread. and through faith. Amen. Read, brother. When the even was come. And what? They brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. Devils, read. And he cast out the spirits with his word. With his word. And healed all and that were healed sick. And healed all that were sick. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by his eyes. The prophet saying himself took our infirmities and what? And bear our sicknesses. Though he were a high priest, he was not without the feelings of our infirmities, mm. but was tempted in all points like as we are yet without sin. Amen. That's right. How else was God to know Jesus had to go through it for us that he might be able to intercede for us. Amen. Because God was like this. You mess up, I get rid of you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jesus said, Father, have mercy. Yeah. Moses stood in, in the, the gap. gap when God was about to destroy. Amen. So Jesus had to go through all of this that he might be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. Read, brother. Now when Jesus saw a great multitude, when Jesus saw a great him, multitude following him, he what? He gave commandment to depart and to the other side. Other side, and a certain scribe came, said unto him, Master, I will follow thee wheresoever thou goest. Read. Jesus said unto him, Read. Foxes have holes. Foxes got holes. Birds of the air have Birds nests. Birds of the air have nests. The son of man have not the son to of lay man have head. nowhere to lay his head. Isn't that something? Mm-hmm. Twenty-third verse. Listen. When he was entering into a ship, his disciples followed him. And, and behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea. Read. And so much that the ship was covered with the waves, but, but he was asleep. Isn't that something? That reminds me of Dean Keith. I don't know if I could have gone to sleep, but that plane caught a fire in the air. And he gonna get him a pillow. Mm -hmm. And slept good. Oh yeah. That's faith. Amen. He's here today. That's faith. Planes catch a fire in the air. They coming down <laughs> over the ocean. Mm -hmm. Tell me you ain't gonna be concerned. Yes. <clears throat> he get a pill and go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Slept good too. Did you sleep good? Slept good. <laughs> sure did. Wait a minute. The smoke <laughs> is in the cabin, and you gonna lay down and go to sleep, brother? Slept good too. Yes, indeed. Through, by and through faith. By and through faith. And here he is, sleep, sleep. He sleep. By through faith. Amen. Waves is covering the ship, and Jesus is down in the asleep. Asleep. And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us. Why? We perish. We perish. And he said, What? Why are ye fearful? Why are ye fearful, O ye of what? Little faith. By faith, through faith, our Amen. situations resolve. 
Why are you so fearful? Mm -hmm. Amen. People scared to death of COVID right now. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I cough around the house, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't sneeze. I'm telling you, don't sneeze. It could be the pepper that I'm spraying and the cream turkey I'm fixing. No, uh, I hear you sneezing down there. What's going on? The Lord says they shall not come nigh thy dwelling. dwelling. That's right. That's right. What's your status? Mm -hmm. Oh, ye of little faith. Little faith, read. Then he arose. He arose, what? Rebuked, rebuked the, wind. the wind and the sea, and there was what? Great calm. Woo. 27 verse said, but the men did what? Marvel. Marvel saying, what manner of man is this? That what? Even the winds. Winds and, and the, the sea, sea obey him. Well, what, what kind of man is this? That the way, there was a great calm, church. Yes, who in the world? Hmm. The coven comes knocking around my door and he sees that hedge. He backs up. That's right. That's right. See, I can't get there. That's right. I can't get there. Amen. Got the blood of Jesus. God got a hedge there. And then he's got that angel. Oh, yeah. That guardian angel mm -hmm. around about him. Amen. I can't get to him. St. Mark. Let's see if we can step along here. St. Mark. 11th chapter, 12th verse. Listen to this. And on tomorrow, see what had happened was Jesus got finished riding down through the street on a coat that had never been broke. You don't do that, church. Mm -hmm. If you know anything about horses and things, isn't it? you don't get on a young coat's back and don't get bucked <laughs> off. Mm -hmm. Jesus just got finished riding down the coat down through the streets. And they saying, Hosanna, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. So listen, the 12th. And on the morrow, when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry and seeing a fig tree afar off, having leaves. Fig tree having leaves. A fig tree having leaves. And what? If happily he might find anything thereon. And what? And when he came to it, Read. he found nothing but leaves. Read. For the time of the figs was not yet. And what? Jesus answered and said unto him, It. Read. No man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. And what? And his disciples heard it. And drop down to the 20th verse. Read. And in the morning as they passed by, what happened? They saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. Mm. And Peter called into remembrance what? Saith unto him, Master. Master? Behold, the fig behold. tree which thou curse is withered away. Mm. And Jesus said what? Have faith in God. Ha. Ah. That's the key. Mm. That's right. Faith in God. First John, as we close out. Fifth chapter. <clears throat> Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ, the first verse said, is born of God. And everyone that loveth him that begot, loveth him also that is what? Begotten, begotten of, him. of him. Read. By this we know, By this that, we we know that we what? Love the children we of love God. the children of God when, when we, we what? Love God, when we love God and do what? You must keep God's commandment. And Jesus said, have faith in God. Amen. Read. 
For what? For this is the love of God, Read. that we keep his commandments. Keep his commandment, and his, his commandments, commandments are what? are not grievous. For whatsoever is born of God, what? Overcometh the world. Overcometh the world. Whatsoever is born of God, doth what? Overcometh the and world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even what? Our faith. Faith. Amen. By and through faith, situations are resolved. Amen. Read. Who is he that overcometh the Who world? Who is he that overcometh? Read. But he that believeth that he Jesus. He that believeth that what? Jesus. Jesus is, is son of God. Son of God. Question. This is he that came by water and blood. By water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but what? But by water and blood. And it is the spirit that what? Beareth witness. Beareth witness because what? The Spirit's spirit is truth. truth. Read. But there are three that bear record in heaven. Read. The Father. Father. The Word. The Word. And the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. And Read. These three are these one. These three are one. Because you can't divide what's one. Amen. That's right. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. For there the Lord commanded the blessings, even life forevermore. Unity. When husband and wives work together, their prayers are answered. When they don't work together, their prayers are hindered. Mm -hmm. You can't figure out why you can't get it done? Mm. Check yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. You hear what I said again? I'm going to say it again. If you can't figure out why things ain't coming together, check yourself. That's I ain't right. say check your husband or check your wife. Check yourself. Amen. Preach on now. You find you might be out of step. Mm -hmm. Because God says his blessings are upon them through unity when you become unified. That's right. That's Listen, right. read. <clears throat> and there are three that bear witness in the earth. Who is that? The spirit. Spirit. And the water. Water. And the blood. And the blood. And these three. These three. Agree in one. Agree in one. And that one is the Father, the Word. The Holy Ghost. Read. If we receive the witness of if men. If we receive the witness of men, what? The witness of God is greater. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just seeing something here. I'm just mm -hmm. seeing something. Mm -hmm. Something just popped to me just now. The light. Yeah. Read that again. If we receive the witness of men. If we received the three W's from the scientists. <laughs> if we receive the three W's mm. from the scientists, mm -hmm. this just came. This, mm. this is an inspiration right now, mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. Through faith, by faith, through faith, situations are resolved. Watch this now, read. If we receive the witness of men, read. The witness of God is greater. Man gave you three things. God gave you four things. Mm -hmm. That's right. If my people who are called by my name shall what? Humble themselves. Pray. Pray. Turn. turn. Seek my face. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He says, and I will hear from heaven and do what? Heal, the Heal their land. See, man tells you three things to do with no promise. They can't guarantee it. Mm -hmm. And it's evident that they're washing of the hands, watching how far your distance is, and then wearing a mask. It's evident that it ain't working because what? Still growing. There's an increase, mm -hmm. not a decrease. That's crazy. Whoo. Witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God, which he has testified of his son. He that believeth on the son of God have the witness where? In himself. In himself. He that believeth not, God hath made him what? A liar. a liar. And the reason being is, read. Because he believeth not the record that God gave of his son. Jesus said, search the scriptures. So in them you think you have eternal life, but they are they that testify of me. That's right. 
Read. And this is the record. And this is the record that God, God have given, to given unto us, us eternal life. And this life is where? Is in, his son. in his son. Read. He that have the son. He that have the son have life. And he that have not the son, what? Of God have not life. You ain't got no life. That's if right. you got life in you, if you got the son of God in you, then the enemy cannot overtake you because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Amen. When Jesus went over to the lepers, beat our heel, touch them. He didn't walk away infected. The infection left. Because of the power that's in the only begotten Amen. Son of God. Yes. So if you're connected, if you are connected, mm -hmm. you don't have no need to fear. Amen. You see, perfect love casts out all fear. Fear have torment. That's right. That's and right. he that feareth is not made perfect. Preach it's all that. in the book. That's right. That's right. We yeah. got to finish up, brother. Listen, read. These things have I written unto you. These things have I written unto you that believe, believe on the, the name, name of the Son of God. That what? That you may know that you have eternal that life. That you have eternal life and that you may what? Believe on who? The name of the Son of God. And this is the confidence that we have in him that if, if now we ask what? Anything. Anything. Read. According to his According will. According to his will. Read. He heareth us. We, he heareth us and what? If we know that he hear us. And if we know that he hear us, what? Whatsoever we ask. Whatsoever we ask. We know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. Amen. If you got money in the bank and your social security check just came in and you know you got money in the bank, you can write a check. Mm -hmm. up to that amount yeah. and be guaranteed that you'll get it. Mm -hmm. So if you know that God hear you, yeah. then you know. See, God don't hear no sinner's prayer. That's right. Did y'all hear that? God don't hear no sinner's prayer. Well, how did I get this and how did I get Because somebody saved, prayed for you. Mm-hmm. That's right. The prayers, the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. That's right. Amen. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he what? He heareth us. And the 15th verse says, and if what? If we know that he hear us. And we know that he hear us, whatsoever yes, we ask, what? We know that we have the petitions. We know that we have the petitions with an S. Isn't that S? That's right. By faith, through faith, petitions or situations mm -hmm. are resolved. Amen. 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 Read that again, last verse, 15 verse. And if we know that he hear us. And if we know that he hear us. Whatsoever we ask. Whatso what, whatsoever. Whatsoever we ask. Whatsoever. Whatsoever we ask. Jesus. Be a fence yeah. all around me every day. Yeah. And I say, hey, Jesus, I want you to protect me as I travel along the way. I know you can. I know you will. You'll fight my battle if I keep still. Lord, Lord, be a fence all around me. Amen. 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 You believe you heard it true? Amen. We have the petition that we desire of him. The Lord said you shall know Amen. the truth and the truth. Keep your hands up there. I want to see them. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Jesus, be a fence all around me and then protect me mm -hmm. every day. Amen. Every day, all day, all throughout the day. Amen. So we thank God for his protection. We thank God for the, each and every one of you.
and we pray that the word of God will have preeminence in your life. Amen? Amen. Turn the service back over to the deacon. Thank you. <clears throat> <clears throat> Amen. Let the church say amen. Amen. Let those tuning in say amen. Thank God for the message and the messenger. Keep preaching on, Pastor, and so doing, I shall save thyself and those that hear thee. The pastor said, perfect love casteth out fear. Mm -hmm.